so i figured out that a lot of persons have been searching for these on youtube a lot of persons are interested in knowing how to create a youtube thumbnail on pixel app and that is exactly why i'm making this video because in this short tutorial i will show you how to create mind blend thumbnails on pixel lab without even um using your data to create the design stick around follow me carefully and stay with me while i take you on this short adventure i will see you in the video all right so first things first i'm going to go to my pixel lab app right now and then i have a plain background already and this is what i want to work with in case your pixel lab does not have a um plain background then you just come here tap on this first look at my crystal please pay careful attention to my crystal yeah tap on this and then scroll down you will see this just tap on this now for if you do not have the pixel app app in case you are wondering where you can get pixel app app from you can get it from play store but then if you are looking for the mode version without ads just check in the description box of this video you will see the link to join my youtube telegram community where you can get the mode app mode version of the app for free if you use ios i'm sorry this app cannot work on your phone this app does not work on iphones so that being said let's continue now the first thing i'm going to do is um to change the size don't forget that um i want to create a youtube thumbnail so i need to use the resolution of a youtube thumbnail which is um well let's check it out let's check it out so i'm going to tap on this right i will tap on this yes tap on this and then look at this image size just pay attention to my cursor this is image size just tap on this image size and then pixel lab already makes it so easy in case you do not know the resolution of youtube so once you tap on this this drop down is going to bring down a drop down menu that you can see on my screen so then you will see different kind of um you see facebook cover art google plus cover photo twitter either size square profile picture square youtube channel banner and then youtube thumbnail so what we are looking for is youtube thumbnail so just tap on this and then in case you are wondering what the resolution is this is 1280 by 720 1280 by 720 1280 by 720 tap on ok and then we've got this this is the resolution so now we can start creating our design now if you go to my channel you realize that my channel has like a consistent color that i use for my um thumbnails usually so that is going to um be that is also going to reflect in this particular practice though this is just a practice video but then stay with me you are going to get it so um i'm going to change the background color to this this is the background color this is where you can change the background color from from this i haven't clicked on this just tap on color and then you can change your background color here you can tap on gradient and then adjust the gradient if you are totally new to pixel lab and you do not know anything about pixel lab just check the um, description box below too or you can go to the playlist section on my channel you will see um a playlist on pixel lab and there you can see some beginner videos i dropped about introduction to pixel lab app and some other videos that you are definitely going to find very very useful and also i have a free beginner course in case you need it i also have a paid course in case you need it and i have a master class in case you need it they are all going to be linked in the description box below i feel like they are going to really help you but then let's continue this video now this is gradient you can decide to use gradient but then for the sake of this video i am not going to use gradient because i want us to create something simple so now the next thing i'm going to do is to um is to create a thumbnail for a video i think i'm going to draw very soon so what i'm going to do next is to tap on this right tap on this and then just go to click on shape right click on shape I mean just stay with me you can always customize this in your own way you can depending on what you want to achieve the idea of this video just to guide you and show you how i do these things how i create my thumbnail so that it can serve like a guide for you okay so um i'm going to change this to circle yeah then i'm going to reduce the opacity i'm going to scroll down 
come to stroke increase the stroke width to 50 then i'm going to change the color to this particular color yes this particular one then the next thing i will do is okay the next thing i will do here is to come to blur radius look at blur radius i will increase my blur radius to 25 yes this is it i will increase my blur radius to 25 and then i will reduce the size until you can't see anything here again until you can't see this color in here again so i'm going to reduce it to this i think i love it at like this yeah this is actually nice so this is what i want to achieve mark it and then you cannot increase the size you can also increase the size then we've got this you can see increase the size some more yeah increase the size some more and just place this here right i don't want this video to get too long but then um just stay with me so i'm going to reduce the opacity because of what i'm trying to achieve still and then i'll go to the lady position and then position this right i'm going to use this so that i can position it to the center then i'll mark it then i'll scroll down i will copy this and then i'll move this here too then i will also use my relative position to position this to the middle yes to the middle and then i've got this so now the next thing i will do is this i think i will need to actually um adjust this but then before then i think i'll need to use under shape for this because of what i'm trying to achieve but then before then let me try something so I'll now um, use this shape. I will increase this shape. I will increase this shape. I will move this down a bit. Yes. Then I will increase the radius, right, a bit. Mark it, and then I will copy this. Click on edit, and then I will move this here to be sure that this is aligned. I can use my grid line. I will just place this down here. I can delete every other one if I don't need it. I can delete every other one because I don't want it to distract um, you from seeing what I'm doing. So I'm, I can now move this down here. Yes. Then I'll tap on this. This is for magnet, right? Just check the video on how to navigate through Pixel Lab. It's going to guide you on every of these things that I'm doing. You will understand how to do them better. So mark and then tap on this and also adjust it so that they can both align all right so we've got this now and then i'll need to adjust my circle now i'll need to adjust my circle i said it earlier that i need to adjust it let me turn off the grid line okay so i'll tap on this circle i will let me just delete it let me tap on this too and um delete it so i'll click on shape instead I'll, i want to use a um, rectangle shape i'm still going to create the same effect just that it's not going to be circle reduce the opacity come down increase the stroke width change the color to this to this the color of the stroke okay sorry change it to this then you can now um let me tap on plus and um just brighten this so i'm going to brighten this click on ok and then i will increase my blur radius can you see so i will reduce the size you see the same effect just with different shapes so i'll do this and then i will do this and then we've got this right we've got this then i can send this to back click on to back so we have this i can see move this down manually if i need to yes and then i can also let me see i can reduce i can increase the opacity okay the opacity is increased so i'm going to copy this I can copy this move this here increase the size some more if you need to move this here then send it to back so we have this and then let me delete this let me let me copy it again let me move this here and send it to back all right so this is what we've got then i can i can bring in my test here i'll just click on um before yeah there's a kind of um effect i'm looking for so we have um before okay no no from this from this right from this 
from from this yes yeah, click on ok increase the size then i can go to um font also for my youtube thumbnail i normally use a consistent font right some people call it typeface so still the same thing and the typeface i use is space grotesque but let me see maybe this will look better all right let's just use this space grotesque right bold then i will i normally increase the line spacing oh no i normally increase the spacing not the line spacing please the spacing and there's line spacing so i normally increase the i normally reduce the spacing let's just leave it at five right then i will increase the size from this copy it then move this here top tap and then change it to from this to this to this click on ok and then we have this so now i can decide to also import an arrow i can decide to also import an arrow at this point tap on plus tap on from gallery and then i can images all right i can use this this arrow flip it to the other side and then they'll do something like this If this arrow is not giving me what i want i can also import another one so it um, basically depends on what you want at this point so depending on what you want to achieve so i'm going to hide this other one i think this is giving me or let me delete it instead delete so i'm going to reduce the size yes yeah this then i can also change the color to whatever i want I can change the color to maybe this yeah i think i love this from this to this right so for this now i can import a design the design i want to use yeah i mean well i will import it as texture right i want to import it as texture so i'm not going to be I'm not going to be um, importing the design just the design i'm going to be importing it into this particular shape so see i'm going to do that quickly just tap on texture then tap on this and then it will take you to your gallery where you can select the design so let me just um do that quickly all right so i found the design i want to use so um these are some of my old designs when i started out in design long ago so um it can be like from this to this so i will not put like a redesigned version of it but then if i'm going to use this on my thumbnail one important thing i'm going to do is to ensure that i do not show the final design this is very important the reason why this is important is so that it can spark curiosity now there are three things that are very important when it comes to thumbnail and that is curiosity um thumbnails and title actually youtube thumbnail and title and that is curiosity um fear and desire those are the three powerful emotions that you need to evoke so when i want to put in this other design here for example i i think this is going to be a thumbnail that i'm going to use on a particular design um on a particular video let me know if you want the video in the comment section though so um let, let me know if you are anticipating the video so that i can consider if i would drop it or not but then like i could create a redesign version of this old design then create a better one with the same details just create a better one here but then i will blow out this and i could put a question mark since i'm going to be using it 
as the thumbnail the reason why this is powerful is because this is going to really help spark emotions and people will want to click on your thumbnail that's one thing that makes thumbnails really really powerful okay so now i can also decide to import um backgrounds and just just to spice up the background you know i have a couple of backgrounds um here and i can decide to just pick one of them and just explore so um i think i have some apart from all this i still have some others but then let me just use this let me see how this will look like and um so yeah let's have it okay send this to back this is what we have but i'm not going to leave it this way i'm going to reduce the opacity actually i'm going to reduce the opacity then i could um yes this so but then at the end of, the, of these two i could decide to just um edit this in in um i could decide to edit this in adobe lightroom okay but then this is just the basic way i create my thumbnails but then i there are some other steps that i do aside this but i believe that this is good this up to this point has really helped you so far i mean this um this is just the basic way i mean if you are creating thumbnails the basic way this is how to do it and i've showed you something that you need to consider consider emotions spark emotions ensure that you spark emotions through your thumbnails so that people can click on your design because if i put in the final project here now and this is before this is after people already know what to expect so why should they click the link i mean why should they watch the video why should they tap on the video when they already see what is going to eventually happen at the end of the video so that is one thing you do not want your viewers to know that is one thing you do not want your viewers to actually um do i mean you want them to check out your video you do not want them to um just skip your videos as if your videos do not exist i believe you've learned a lot let me know if you gain value from this in the comment section i will see you in the next video meanwhile don't forget to do the like button the subscribe button if you haven't done that i will definitely see you in the next one